Afternoon guys, welcome to another paper ball and pin tube. Uh, this time it's another fault finding problem, sadly. Uh, again, it's to do with this, the Virac HW110. However, what I will say from the outset is that this is not a problem with the HW110, this is a problem with mugging gear. Uh, the last video I did on the HW110 was regarding power loss that was possibly a manufacturing uh, problem. This is a user problem, uh, and it's regarding air leaks. Uh, now, since I've had this gun, which is over a year, about a year, year and a half now, I have had two air leaks, um, and one I've managed to fix, uh, one I have had to send away to be fixed. Um, so I wanted to share some experience with you. Uh, I know I've had contact from people that are wanting to buy this gun, uh, and I continue to say that I would wholeheartedly recommend it. I love this gun, it's my favorite gun, and I would never ever sell it, even if I was on the street. Um, so, problems. Uh, I've had one leak while filling the gun, uh, so that the gun wouldn't fill, and I have had a leak um, which um, would be after I filled the gun. So I'd fill the gun up, put it away, in the morning, come back, so you've got half the air in it. So. The first leak uh, is to do with this. More specifically, these, these rubber rings. Now, I think it was early on when I had this first leak. Uh, I was a bit excited to be shooting. Um, so I would take out this plug. Can you see that? Let me just move it out. There you go, there you go. So it comes with this plug here goes into fill port, comes out, has to keep the dust out. Come back to that in a minute. And then this goes in like that. Uh, now, I think what had happened uh, is that as I was putting it in, I wasn't putting it in quite straight, and I had nicked one of the seals. I think it was this bottom one here. Um, so when I was trying to pump air into it, um, none was going into the gun because it was flowing out through the faulty seal. Now, it, it took me a while, I thought the pump was broken, check the pump, did seals, check the bleed valve in the, in the, um, in the pump, none of that. Um, in the end, I had to look incredibly closely, and there was like a tiny little chunk out of that seal, um, which was what was causing the leak, um, which was my own fault, I'd done it, um, but it took me a long time to fix it. So if you've got problems while trying to inflate, is that the right word for to do inflating? Charge it, charge it, that's better, that's better. Um, your gun, check those seals. It can be really, really small. Now, how did I fix that? Well, you're thinking that's pretty easy to replace the seal. Okay, but I didn't have any. Um, but, obviously what I did have was the original. See, it comes with a threaded fill probe, the gun. This is one I bought separately with the this uh, quick, quick, attachment so you just plug it into it um, so I swapped the seals over and now it works beautifully straight in that was an easy fix okay now leak number two that wasn't so easy uh, leak number two was where I would fill up the gun um, and come back in the morning and half the air would have leaked out of it um, now clearly that was nothing wrong with this that was something internal in here. Uh, now, as you saw with the power loss uh, video, uh, there was a company called HW100, uh, who I'm not affiliated to, I just happened to use them, um, because they're, they're, they're really good. Uh, I spoke to a guy there, Mel, he's really helpful. Drop him an email if you have any problems. Um, and he's explained what the likely problem was. Um, sadly, um, again, I wasn't overly careful. Uh, when I would fill up the gun, I would just do it on the patio, I'd do it on the lawn, you know, and what I would do is, is I would take this out, the plug that goes in there, shove it in my pocket while I wasn't using it. Now, this has also got a rubber seal on it, and what Mel has, has advised is that it's easy for this to pick up little bits of dirt, it's easy for this to pick up little bits of dirt. If you don't put this back in, it's easy for little bits of dirt in there, and it's ever so sensitive. There are 
little seals inside here which are ever so sensitive and what had happened is where I wasn't careful uh, with these they'd obviously picked up a bit of dirt shoved it back in there I was unfortunate that it got caught in one of the seals and therefore the seal wasn't closed properly and it was leaking right how to prevent uh, number one keep my probes in a little plastic bag now keep the crap off of them number two get yourself some uh, little gun oil um, silicon oil rub it on your seals just helps keep it lubricated stops things sticking to it helps it go smoothly in and out it's a bit mm, yeah I won't cross any lines there uh, and keep them clean so keep them out of the dirt keep them out of your pocket which is full of fluff and crap and everything, everything pockets or anything like mine and you will prevent that um, now how to fix that seal from inside well I'll, I'll openly admit I'm not a gunsmith I'm not a technical gun repairer person so I had to send my gun away to Mel at HW100 and pay for that to be repaired and he's done a great job and it's all fixed um, what uh, I did take the opportunity in doing um, oh by the way if you are technically proficient in taking guns apart this bit here comes off you might be able to have a fiddle with it and replace the earrings in there I can't because I'm a moron and if I did it it would probably blow up in my face or something um, so yeah anyway what I did take them to of doing um, something I've been thinking of for a while uh, this cylinder here this bit here this uh, comes as steel uh, and I've had it replaced with a titanium one uh, that Mel can do um, which obviously you pay for it's prices are on his website and as you can see um, it is a longer cylinder look, see that I can get about a finger between the end of it and the standard silencer on the end there um, I've got some pictures to compare the difference in length and it's made of titanium and titanium is lighter than steel so despite the fact you're getting extra length uh, it's actually lighter um, to be honest can I feel it hugely lighter no but you know that's good because where it's bigger I would expect it to be heavier and if it's no heavier then that's absolutely fine so I think it's uh, on Mel's website it says it's about 13 nearly 14 percent extra capacity in here so uh, you're getting a bigger tube with bigger capacity same 200 bar fill uh, but you're giving nearly 14 percent more shots which is about 20 25 you know extra shots um, for the same weight um, which you know I think well I thought it was worthwhile because I was sending the gun away anyway to have the leak fixed so while it's doing that let's get that stuck on there as well uh, high capacity um, so you know that's just like I say if you've got a leak and you'd seen this um, YouTube video and you thought oh good he's going to tell me how to fix it I can't because I'm a moron um, but male can HW100 tuning get onto his website and he can help you out but prevention keep these things clean out the dirt keep them lubricated and then you won't have um, the problems that I've had in fact I'm going to lubricate that in a minute and let's pop that back in there make sure no fluff is flying up there so it's back um, we've got the ATM on top um, and we're going to do some shooting and another thing that I found positive with getting this titanium tube is you can't see it from this side but if we flip it over you will see a bit dirty there um, all that writing and that big green sticker is gone went with the old tube uh, Mel cheeky bugger's put his own 
HW100 tuning sticker on there. I might take that off, don't tell him. Uh, and then it'll be all black. Beautiful, yeah? I never liked that big green pressurized cylinder sticker. That was annoying. Um, so that's gone, so look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> nice, we like that. That's it. We can have a, let's have a look. See no, no leak in air, see that? Uh, 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 uh. Right, come on. Ooh. And boom, right on the money. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Got 200, 200 subscribe. Sub can't say it. I've got 200 on subscribers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like and subscribe. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll be in touch again real soon. Cheers guys, bye.